exercise, a survival of the fittest. Now, why was that? Because although all of these are rainforest species, none of them have ever before been planted in Arizona soil at an altitude of 4,000 feet. So nobody really knew how each one of these individual species would perform. They did the only thing they could do, plant it three years in advance, let it sort itself out, so that all the data by experience seal themselves in here, they would be sealing themselves in with the strongest and not the weakest of those 360 species. Okay? This was going to be their oxygen factory. Remember, they were sealed in here for two years. And on the day that they sealed themselves in, that was going to be their air for the next two years. So this was the rainforest that was going to recycle the carbon dioxide that they exhaled into oxygen that they could breathe using a process that's called photosynthesis. Synthesis, okay? A process that uses the energy of the sun to convert carbon dioxide back to oxygen. Now, when Colombia got here in 1996, one of the first things they did was to open the building up to the atmosphere. So they no longer needed the rainforest as their oxygen factory. What were they going to do with this rainforest? They turned it into a laboratory for climate change because at that time, so little was known about the impact of droughts on rainforests. What Columbia University would do was turn off the water with this rainforest and watch plants and trees like these exude biogases. They were looking for the formation of methane, methane, and some of the other volatile organic compounds. We refer to today as simply VOCs, right? Okay, when we got here in 2007, the University of Arizona upgraded the instrument so that instead of seeing parts per million, we are today looking at parts per trillion. And what we see come out of these plants today, when we turn up the water, are things like terpenes and isoprenes. These are like antioxidants. Plants produce and store in their cells. When they feel threatened by heat, they release this into the environment, and some of these substances are actually catalysts for rain. Okay, so here's the very close relationship between landscape and climate. And just as we've seen dramatic changes in our southern Arizona climate, in, sorry, southern Arizona landscape, so also do we 